With the tech and financial sector growing significantly with the introduction of everything from smartphone applications to the explosion of the cryptocurrency exchange, feels like millionaires are getting younger by the day. In fact, of the youngest 15 millionaires, not a single one is over the age of 40 years old. But what do we know about these brilliant entrepreneurs and how did their bank accounts grow? For all this and more, stay tuned. First up on our list is a 29-year-old by the name of Sam Bankman Fried, who just so happens to be the current CEO of FTX, a crypto exchange of great renown. But that's not all he does. The man also manages digital assets through a quantitative altcoin trading firm known as Alameda Research. Suffice to say, Sam is one of the lucky ones and was able to use his selective knowledge after Bitcoin cashed in to really make waves in the world of cryptocurrency. At the age of just 29 years old, his estimated net worth has been designated as a around 22.5 billion US dollars, which isn't too surprising considering how FTX is currently competing with Coinbase, the top crypto exchange in the world right now. Looking at the man's history, it also makes sense that he became a billionaire at such a young age. You see, he was born in Stanford, California back in 1992 to Barbara Fried and Joseph Bankman, who were both law professors at Stanford Law School at the time. Suffice to say, Sam had a pretty privileged life, was able to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, from which he went on to graduate with a degree in physics. But Sam had other interests and ended up working at Jane Street Capital for a short while, where he traded international ETFs. His loaded bank account only really came about when he started FTX, though, which has grown significantly in recent years. Next up, we have Evan Spiegel, the 31-year-old Los Angeles native who's probably best known for bringing the teenage population the world of Snapchat. For those of you who don't know, Snapchat is a smartphone application similar to WhatsApp in that it allows users to communicate with one another through text, audio calls, video calls, and of course, stories. What makes it different is how in the moment the application proposes to be, with messages either disappearing instantly or within 24 hours of being sent, and photographs being viewed no more than twice unless saved to the chat. It's the perfect application for those who want to converse in ways that are less invasive and permanent than other social media applications. And as it turns out, Evan Spiegel is the one who co-founded Snap Incorporated alongside his buddies, Bobby Murphy and Reggie Brown. Like Mark Zuckerberg before him, he was able to transform the company into a giant of the industry and retain his position as CEO no problem. This has resulted in Spiegel becoming wealthier than he ever thought. In fact, experts have estimated his net worth to be around 13.8 billion US dollars at the moment. Funny enough, he actually shares quite a bit with Sam Bankman Fried in that he studied at Stanford University, where Sam's parents had tenure, and he was born to two lawyers back in 1990. Must be something in the water down in California, and we want in. Up next, Bobby Murphy. It's not just Spiegel who was able to claw his way onto our list, though. Bobby Murphy, who just so happens to be another co-founder of Snap Incorporated, was also able to make it and is currently serving as the CTO of Snap. At just 30 three years old at the moment, Murphy was named as one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine back in 2014, with many kids thanking him for the role he played in bringing Snapchat to their smartphones, but Bobby's story is a bit different from the other millionaires on this list. You see, his parents emigrated to the United States before his birth making him a first-generation American with roots in the Philippines. Lucky for him, his parents worked hard to allow him to grow up in the fresh air of Berkeley, California, where he had a pretty successful childhood. After attending Stanford University, which is where he met up with Evan Spiegel and Reggie Brown at the Kappa Sigma fraternity, they put their heads together and came up with the idea for Snap. And after the application exploded onto the digital market, he had more money in his bank account than he could keep track of, according to reports his current net worth is around 15.2 billion US dollars, which is even higher than Spiegel's. It's a true rags to riches story and shows that the American dream can still work for those who hustle as best they can. Next is Lucas Walton. Not everyone on this list of ours has worked hard for what they have though. And when it comes down to it, there is no greater example of this than Lucas Walton, the 35 year old American who has a current net worth of approximately 17.2 billion US dollars. 
years. But where did this incredible fortune come from? Well, as it turns out, Lucas is the grandson of Sam Walt, who just so happens to be the founder of Walmart, a popular shopping chain with stores now across the globe. When Sam passed away a couple of years ago, this massive fortune passed on to his son, who unfortunately died in a plane crash back in 2005, causing the inheritance to once more pass, but this time to Lucas. In fact, according to reports, Lucas Walton received about a third of his father's estate after the mysterious plane crash, causing him to become one of the youngest billionaires in the world. It must also be said that Lucas hasn't exactly worked to get by at any point. He's always been in a position of privilege, having owned a stake in Walmart, First Solar, and Arvest Bank from a pretty young age. That being said, he was able to grab himself a Bachelor of Arts and Science degree from Colorado College. He also got a high ranking as a philanthropist, having already donated around $149 million to his family's namesake foundation, which he chairs a leg of. Next on our list is Mark Zuckerberg, the man who is so successful and downright strange that conspiracies regarding his origin have begun to surface. And if these insane theories are to be believed, the Zuck is actually an alien from a distant planet. Doesn't help that he once said he was human, but there's no doubt that this all came down to his awkward attitude. For those of you who don't know, Mark Zuckerberg is the CEO and co-founder of a little application called Facebook, which to a large degree was the first mass-used social media network in the history of the internet because he owns around 13% of the media conglomerate, which has gone on to acquire useful applications like WhatsApp and Instagram. You can imagine just how wealthy this 37-year-old man is. In fact, experts have estimated his net worth to be an incredible $134.5 billion US dollars, making him the richest of the youngsters on this list. Over the last few years, Zuckerberg has also placed some of his hard-earned cash into the space industry and now walks along the path of magnets like Elon Musk, Steve Bezos, and Richard Branson. This has culminated in him co-founding the Solar Sail spacecraft development project, which hasn't exactly helped to combat the rumor that he's actually an alien. But we're sure that Zuckerberg couldn't care less at the moment. Although his platform is now something for the older generation, he's undoubtedly still rolling in the cash. Last but not least, we have Dustin Motzkowicz of Gainesville, Florida. And although he isn't as well known as his buddy Mark Zuckerberg, many in the industry still know him as the other co-founder of the social media platform. According to reports, he currently owns a stake of around 2% of Facebook, which ends up being a pretty significant sum. He didn't stop there though. He's also the CEO of Asana, which is a company that both makes and sells workplace organization software, which is used to across the globe. This has resulted in Moskowitz accumulating a net worth of around 24.1 billion US dollars, which isn't bad considering how he was pushed off of Facebook a couple of years ago. As fans of The Social Network will know, the 37-year-old co-founder was actually educated at Harvard University, where he tried his best at majoring in economics. When the idea of Facebook came along, though, he left the institution to work full-time on the project, which is a good thing considering just how popular the platform went on to become. It must also be said that Moskowitz is a philanthropist of note and actually founded an organization by the name of Good Ventures, which serves to take care of the needs of many communities. And there you have it, some of the youngest billionaires from around the world. What do you think about the men who made it onto this list? And is there any other name you believe should have been included? Feel free to let us know in the comments section down below.